Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2021 World of Wheels Birmingham, and uh, what I like to do when I can't shoot uh, everything as a feature is I like to do some walk-around videos. So the intro in these walk-around videos will be the same, but the content past that will be different, I promise you. So anyways, here we are, walking around Birmingham, World of Wheels 2021. Hope y'all enjoy it. Digging that, right? It was one of the things, you know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't that's not what I would build but man I'm so glad that people are still doing those kind of restorations where you can go back and see where it started and speaking of where it started my boy Tommy McClain and uh, Big Daddy I don't give a lot of vendors shout outs but Tommy's always been there to make whatever I've got shine and I uh, he's got a company that uh, has some very good products check them out another vendor here showing you how they would uh, carefully transport your car should you call them which I thought was cool and I think I've shot this truck I think I've got a feature on that truck if not I need to because it's a sure nice nice truck I dig the color I like that green that white stance and then anytime I get the chance to be in the presence of a McLaren and I have my camera I'm gonna shoot a video of it you can just bet it I mean Ferraris Lamborghinis all cool but my favorite is the McLaren. Anything that McLaren puts out, I just absolutely love. And I've got to sit in one. <laughs> that's, just, that's cool to me though. I got to sit in the driver's seat. I didn't get to drive it, but I did get to start it, which man, that was just a dream come true that day. Up in Indiana. I don't know if I made a video of it. I should have. And then right here, right? And beyond all the crazy custom of this car, the thing that really blew my mind, and I don't know if cameras are going to make it work for you, but was the pearl in this thing. I mean, man, just every angle you looked at that car, it had, a, it had different hues to it and different shades of color. And, uh, of course, you got to appreciate the uh, style to think that there was a day when, you know, that was where it was at. Overhead view. I want to say that's Friday, just before the show opened. So the general public has not been a, been let in yet, and uh, but everything is set up and crisp and clean and ready to display. Driftwood was there. I got a shot of that Mopar down there. Again, I know I just keep saying it, but I was so stoked to be back out to a show in you know wide open building. And how cool is that ice cream truck? It's like a heavy duty ice cream truck, but very, very cool, very nice. Not hot rod, but just cool. But yet, still stylish, you know, still has a lot of style to it. Good looking car. A lot of good, good, y'all, like said, thank goodness, but there was no. I don't think they were short on cars. They had one display room up in the front that they didn't open, and that was because of regulations. They weren't gonna be able to put very many cars in that room, so I talked to Sonny about that. So they kept that front room closed that they usually have opened up. This Nova, you can see a feature of it. You can actually see two. See one when it was out of Steve Holcomb's getting the interior put in, and then one from Birmingham when it was finished because it didn't have a nose on it when it was out at Steve's. Good looking truck, and I would started to shoot a feature on it, and I hate to say it, but it's a Ford with a Chevy motor in it, and um, everybody just beats those up anymore, so I, I didn't do it. And the Vaughn Hot Rod Award of Excellence trophy. How cool is that? I don't know. I wish I could do something to get that. Fan of Vaughn Hot Rod. Check out his uh, video I did with him from Birmingham. World of Wheels 2021. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.